Good. How are you doing, Bobby? Eh, fuck your mom. So what's up, you ugly fuck? What are you trying to do? Hey, come talk to me. Come over here. I had talked to Titanium, but I had an idea for uh, Scratches if you wanted to do it. Uh, I talked to Marlo already about it. Uh -huh. Basically, it would be, uh, I want to do something. We could do it out of autos. I don't know if it's going to be hot, too hot to do it, though, there. We could maybe, like, store the cars in a garage. But if we could have an app or we could, you know, pitch it to Titanium and get an app on the dark web to where you could go in there and it'd be an entire selection of vent scratches that people have gotten throughout the city you want to sell theirs for the people who just want to buy certain cars or certain vent scratches you could also yep. put in an order for a vent scratch and schedule like trading between That's the actually vent scratches. a sick idea you could also have conversations with people through like a talking like the silk road almost like through our app you could go there and talk to people and get like deals set up uh to buy vehicles or set them up we would make money uh, every time someone would get a deal, we would take either the G&E off the top or the cash, mainly G&E because cash leaves a trail. But yeah, so basically the app would just be people can go on there, see event scratch and buy event scratch vehicle that someone's also someone's already got, or they could order event scratch from one of our you know, people. I've actually who run out thought there of something them. something similar. So you know, the, the there's a little alley just next to Otto's that goes underneath, and there's factories and shit yeah. under there. What if it was like yeah. a, a shop in there, but you had to like pay to enter? So we could buy the cars, right? And set it up like a like PDM or some shit like that. And then uh, we sell them like it's a, like, like, like what you said, like a store, except we don't need the dark web app shit sort of thing. We literally yeah, just I mean, go there and do it. that. The only issue with that is, is that if we get cars that people don't want that are been scratched, we would have to like, you know, sit on them, especially whenever people are getting their uh s classes yeah so if we had it kind of like a carvana thing that would make it to where we would have absolutely zero risk and we would just take the money from the top we'd be the middleman who has no risk and and reap the benefits so say someone pays i don't know how much it is to scratch a car right now but if i if i was so uh, it'd be like around 285 gne &E. i think is this still when, 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 was, when was the last time you checked that i don't know if it's been changed oh yeah that's true that's true Either way, so but like, uh, if 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 that was the case, um, we we uh, we just do we buy it off them? Are you saying like how do how do we no. acquire it? Are they... So we would have it would be certain people uh, within the community that we trust. So the racers who are already A plus or S plus or like this people is actually who a good idea. Going to be fucking idiots and go up to every Joe Schmo and say, hey, you want to buy Prevent a fucking the... scratch car? They would be our guys who would go out and get these vehicles. Now, I can tell Yo, you this Harry, right thank now, you, my there's dude. motherfuckers Appreciate it, sitting on like 10 plus scratch vehicles already, or six or seven. Okay. They're just sitting on them, but they don't know what to do with them. So what they would do is they would go to our app, they or they come to us, they say, I want to put it up for sale. We would put it up on the market, and then people would be able to access that by having a VPN and a racing dongle, like how you can access uh, to buy consumables yeah, yeah, like the NOS and shit. They would open that up and there would just be a selection of the cars that we have on stock that our racers are saying that they, you know, want to sell. Yeah, so I guarantee good. you, we could have like a 40 page car list right now with people who just want to put cars up uh, for a price and sell them. So the, yeah, there's, a, there's another thing with the uh, pastels company we just opened. We're going to try and do like fake um, registration papers and shit too, so. It would uh, yeah. tie in well. Yeah, um, exactly. so. yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to fucking, I guess, talk to the. Well, I mean, why the fuck does the, why the fuck does Titanium need to fucking know if we're selling? Oh, we don't gotta fucking talk to Titanium. Cars. I was just saying, if you wanted to or you needed to or whatever, we could. But if we don't have to, then I, fuck um, that. We could just run this ourselves. Yeah, that's what I'm whoa, telling you. This would I make mean, so much money. Yeah, I mean, it'd be good if he was on it, though. But, like, who who, who would Agreed. you think would be involved? Uh, have you talked to anyone about it, or? So, I've already got the uh, their take from the racers. I talked to JP. I talked to Chap. I talked to Charles and myself. Obviously, I, I talked to Randy, too, and everyone wants it. The only reason I had the idea was because, one, you know, someone came up to me, and they were like, oh, I would love to race in the AA+, but I have already bought my S-Class, and I've been waiting for this certain scratch. And I was like, yep. oh, how cool would it be to be able to go to our site and then get a car and be able to buy it there? Or on top of that, we could do rents 
where you would pay up front all the GE for that vehicle and you would race it. And then whenever you would return the car, we would give you the GE back, but take our renting fee out of it. So if you lost yeah. the car in the race, we would keep the money. And if you didn't lose the car, we would pay the money back, but then take our 50 GE for a renter's fee. But yeah, that yeah, 50, yeah. that car is yours for the entire tsunami, two tsunamis, three tsunamis, whatever. But if you don't return the car, we'll fucking kill you. Yeah, no, this sounds good. I like it. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard to set up either. I don't think we'll go through. Mm -mm. Uh, we'll have to. We, we definitely have to talk to um, Titanium or someone that's up there, if possible. I don't know who yeah. can who can do it, but uh, all we would need is a garage that all of the people who we would want to. I don't even want to use the term hire, but put under our like management position, just so whenever people want to sell a car, they could come to us. They put it on the site. And then they could bring the car to us because the problem we're going to run into is is people are going to want to buy cars and those guys aren't going to be in the city. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I mean. Fix, yeah. Well, that's, so the that's, fix for that, that's what it is. It's like autos, but for scratch cars, right? That's what you mean at the end of the day. Exactly. Except we can just literally like say, okay, you want to rent this car. One of us has to be awake to pull them out, like, at, like you said, at that place. So someone who's in a management position can literally just transfer them the so car. So what's the catch if somebody them. loses it? What do, what do we do then? Because if they get... So, but that's what I'm saying. So when they want to rent a vehicle, they have to have all the G&E oh, that pays something. for that vehicle scratch. Okay, so yeah. say the, the scratch right now is 300 G&E. They have to give us 300 G&E, but when they <sighs> return the car, they're going to get back 250 G&E, and we're going to keep 50 or 25 or 15 or whatever yeah, you think yeah, is reasonable. And then that's going to be our insurance. So if you fuck up, we're still going to get our money for the entire car, or at least our investment back. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, we can we can get the fundamentals of it working and then iron out that shit anyways. How, what we, what we got to do with prices and shit like that. At the end of the day, all we need is a garage we can pull shit in and out of, basically, and we're good. It's so simple. A garage and an app, and we have probably the most profitable fucking business in the city right now. Because everyone, Otto, I'm not kidding you right now, everyone is either trying to race or wants a Vince Scratch car to race. Yep. And this could be that, um, especially for people who don't, <laughs> who, you know, have another life or i don't have the time to come and grind the gne or grind the the money to get those cars they could literally just come in the city go on the app do a couple boosts and rent themselves a car for the entire day and if they win a race they already made their money back so it's a great investment yeah yeah, yeah. i like the idea of it to be honest well i mean i can i can settle that shit up i'll just have to chat with a couple of people and make sure uh you know we ain't gonna be treading on toes or whatever but you know I ain't seen no shit about this before, so we might as well uh, might as well go with it. Jump I, I, on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also sure. at Pastels, <laughs> what have you thought about uh, USB drives and being able to store G and E or cash onto drives, kind of like a yeah, briefcase, but instead of them falling apart, there's a higher life, you know, uh, a higher shelf life on them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, fucking Marlo brought that up, so I don't know if you talked to him about it, but we yeah, could. Yeah, no, uh, that's. Yeah, it's exactly. So we could. We're probably use better off doing that at our shop, bit. though. You know what I mean? Instead, so that way we could have two hundred genie uh, sticks ready to give back to people instead of having to Thanks. do the swap and shit. You know what I mean? And then they could come to Autos, buy the USB sticks with cash. We could say the cash was used to repair, and then we that that's how we can clean the money for them to buy these then scratch cars. Yep. Because they could good. say that they're just buying a vehicle there, but it's actually buying a stick that is translating into buying a Vince Scratch. Well, I mean, we could always just avoid any sort of... Well, we could, we'd have cash, a bank account, but yeah, we could do cash. They And then we bring the cash here, put it in as chips, and then I just do payouts from the chips or whatever. So it looks like exactly. one gambling. But that's you know the mean? big thing that that's the big thing that will make this work really well is if we sell uh, Vin scratches for not only G and E but also cash. Because some yeah. people who want to race don't have any G and E. They had their F or D class on boosting, and they're fucked because they have no way of getting it. Yep. They can pay more cash than G and E and still get it because <sighs> yeah, G and E yeah. prices fluctuate, so they have to pay top G and E price. Yeah, this is a sick idea. I sort of wanted something similar to this at Auto, so but you know, obviously, uh, shit, shit was hella slow to come out with the with the boost and shit. So, yeah, this, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This 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 sounds good. Wait, you want to come for a drive real quick? Just near, and we'll yeah, go yeah, look go. for a go look for a factory real quick. I think there's one near yeah, yeah. Auto. So Charles, I'll be back. The the only thing we got to need is literally uh, the warehouse. So, yeah. I like the idea though Somewhere of like you know having can... ten cars in there parked all in a circle and you can walk yeah, in and just and pick one. You know what I mean? You can walk in there as if we go and unlock the door, just like yeah, a yeah. Crowd. You have to come in. We unlock the door. You see our entire selection. You want to get? You want to buy it? 
it's untraceable and it it not only helps out the market but it helps out the racers because you know every joe schmo can farm g and e but not every joe schmo can bin scratch the best a plus car in the city yeah exactly that takes a lot of skill so are you up to uh, are you up to a's yet what are you uh what are you boosting m plus m plus middle Ooh, i'm up to a's but i can't be fucking bothered doing a yeah, man. Uh, we can. I'm gonna be around uh, for a little while tonight. If we, if the boosts start coming a little bit more frequently, we can uh, bang out some M pluses and some A pluses with Charles. Yeah. So I'm get thinking your, the more you, up. so so I think it's slowed down a bit how they come out, but the more you race, the higher chance or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah, I've raced. I've raced a majority of the day. I have. I've only gotten to see a D. I've placed first in a couple of the races. So oh, really? It's a little I, slow I, this tsunami. I got an A just like fucking twenty or half an hour ago, probably. But I did also just win a race or, or two as well. So. 